I will dis describe three parts of this fetal skull: face, brow, and vertex. So, what is face? Face is this part of the fetal skull. Face, face lies between uh, superiorly this supraorbital ridge on the both side and this root of the nose. So, supraorbital ridge and nose superiorly and junction of the mandible this part junction of the mandible and floor of uh, floor of the mouth with neck like this part this so this part is face supraorbital ridge and root of the nose and this junction of the floor of the mouth with neck so this part is face next is brow brow lies in between inferiorly to supraorbital ridge and root of the nose superiorly to coronal suture and brachma so this part is brow so this part is brow this part next what is vertex vertex is a quadrilateral area like this this quadrilateral area is called vertex anteriorly it is formed by brachma this anterior fontanelier brachma uh, and two coronal suture posteriorly posterior fontanelli and two lambdoid suture and laterally a arbitrary line passing through this prominence parietal prominence so this two line passing through the passing through this two parietal prominence laterally anteriorly this coronal sutures and posteriorly this uh, this part is vertex so face brow and vertex now i will describe the vertical diameters of fetal skull so vertical diameters first i will this di discuss three diameters from um, posterior aspect or occiput region then three diameter from anterior of aspect or mentum region this is called mentum so first three diameter from this aspect one is sub occiputo pragmatic so sub occiputo pragmatic so this is occiput so this region is sub occiput this is brachma or anterior fontanelli so diameter between these two region brachma and this occiput this this region is sub occiputo pragmatic this is 9.5 9.5 cm so then sub occiput sub occiput frontal sub occiput frontal is this sub occiput region in between sub occiput and anterior end of anterior fontanelli this point this is sub occiput frontal this is 10 cm another diameter is occiput frontal this most prominent part occiput and this root of the nose this diameter from this point to root of the nose this is occiput frontal this is 11.5 cm in diameter so what is the importance of this diameter these are the diameter of engagement of fetal head in different attitudes and presentation if if fetal head is completely flexed with body like this if fetal head is completely flexed then this diameter sub occipito sub occipito brachmatic this diameter passes through the diameter of uh, pelvic inlet so uh, when fetal pelvis is completely flexed this diameter sub occipito brachmatic when it is incompletely flexed like this then this diameter sub occipito frontal when it is deflexed like this then occipito frontal this diameter engages so like this when it is completely flexed shape like this then this diameter look at this sub oxy sub occipital brachmatic passes through the pelvic inlet this is diameter of engagement when the fetal skull is partially flexed like this then sub occipital frontal diameter is the diameter of engagement when it is deflexed like this then occipital frontal this diameter is the diameter of engagement so sub occipital brachmatic this is 9.5 cm sub occipital frontal this is 10 cm then occipital frontal in deflexion that is 11.5 cm now i will discuss three diameter from the anterior aspect first one is mento vertical this is mentum or chin from mentum 
to vertex uh, most prominent part of vertex superior part this diameter is called mento vertical diameter they be from this point to this point here mandible is absent like uh, most prominent part of the mandible chin to this point vertex this is mento vertical then is sub mento vertical from junction of floor of the mouth with neck this is sub mentum this point from this point to vertex this is sub mento vertical diameter and this is mento vertical uh, then sub mento brachmatic from sub mentum to brachma this is sub mento brachmatic so first is mento vertical then sub mento vertical then sub mento brachmatic to so three diameter from anterior aspect this mento vertical is 14 cm this sub mento vertical is 11.5 cm this sub mento brachmatic is 9.5 cm this is the maximum diameter maximum anterior posterior diameter that is mento vertical 14 cm and during partial extension of the head during partial extension like during this partial extension this diameter mento vertical passes through the pelvic inner this is diameter of engagement during incomplete extension like this sub mento vertical passes through the diameter of engagement as diameter of engagement and during fully extension during phase delivery like this complete extension this sub mento brachmatic this diameter passes through pelvic inlet so these are the anterior posterior diameter of the fetal skull now I will discuss transverse diameter of fetal skull. One is biparietal diameter. Look at this. This is parietal eminence, most prominent part of the parietal bone. In between two parietal eminence is the biparietal diameter. It is 9.5 cm in diameter. Then uh, by temporal uh, then by temporal look at the lateral end of coronal suture from this point to this point from one end of coronal suture to another end by temporal this is by temporal then by mastoid from one mastoid process to another this is by mastoid diameter and another is super sub parietal diameter from one point below the parietal eminence from another point above the parietal super means one just above the parietal eminence from one side sub parietal means uh, point just below the parietal eminence of another side this two point this two point this diameter is super sub parietal diameter so what are the measurements by parietal diameter 9.5 by temporal diameter this two point is 8 centimeter by mastoid this two point 7.5 centimeter mass sorry by mastoid this two point and super sub parietal from this point to this point is 8.5 centimeter so by parietal is the maximum transverse diameter in cephalic presentation so during delivery this uh, uh, suppose see this is the diameter by parietal diameter transverse diameter engaging through the pelvic inlet so this is by parietal diameter see the see this two point is passing through the pelvic inlet and the during asymptalism super sub parietal like in this position super sub parietal diameter passes through the pelvic inlet and by mastoid is the smallest transverse diameter of the fetal head now i will discuss the grading of molding what is molding molding is overlapping of the flat bones during delivery so grading of molding grade zero grade zero means flat bones are separated and suture can be easily filled in between two bones this suture can be filled grade one means suture just touching each other but not overlapping grade two means suture overlapping each other but it is reducible and grade three means suture extremely overlapping over each other and it is non-reducible or pathological so what is the importance of molding molding helps in easy delivery because because of the overlapping of the fetal scar, skull flat bones the size of the skull reduces it helps in easy delivery then extreme molding is pathological because it can damage the intracranial structure and location of the molding gives an idea about the position of the head inside 
fetal pelvis and last two diameter i have discussed that is this acromial diameter in between acromion process of sacromian process of two scapula this is this acromial diameter transverse diameter it is 12 cm and another is bitrochanteric diameter this diameter in between greater trochanter of two femur so this is 10 cm and there is vertical vert vertical podalic diameter in flex position of the baby this diameter from vertex to podalic end this diameter is vertical podalic diameter this is 25 cm from vertex to podalic end 12 point uh, to 25 cm it is the longitudinal measurement of this fetal ovary so this is all about fetal skull, fetal formation of fetal skull, sutures, molding, fontanelle, parts, transverse diameter, vertical diameter. So study well for your practical examination and don't forget to subscribe my channel for more videos on practical. Thank you.